So I know y'all see this makeup and y'all like Shayna it looks fire. I just did it. Not the eye makeup though, but the face makeup. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I'm back with another video. And I am doing like you know, trying new products review type of video. Um hope you guys like it. And yeah, <laughs> if you guys want to see my honest review on this face makeup that I just did because I am so obsessed then please keep watching so for eyes I'm using the I Love Sad IE Dose of Colors palette um, I decided to do like a really really dark smoky eye I don't know what made me do this but I just got tired of doing like neutral looks so I use the black shade on my lid and these two shades in my crease and then the shade in the tear duct of my eye for eyelashes, I'm using the Sweetheart Lashes in Celeste. Um, for primer, I use the Benefit Professional Primer, which is this one right here. So about a month ago, I went to Sephora and I picked up some new items. They're, I think they're only face products in this bag plus some makeup brushes. So I'm just going to be testing out some new products that I bought. So the first item that I want to test out is a Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. Um, I've been wanting to use this foundation for a while. I don't remember when this came out. I don't know if it came out like a year ago or almost a year ago. But I heard good and bad things about this. I heard that this has like a lot of fragrance in it and it broke people out. Which could possibly happen to me but I'm not quite sure. But I also heard that it gives off like a flawless finish. So... I picked up the shade Toffee. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty light, but when I do wear foundation, I like to use like a really tan foundation because the concealer that I use is pretty light, so when you blend it together, it balances out. Here's the packaging of the box. Okay. So the foundation is 1.18 fluid ounces. And again, I got the shade Toffee for 20G. I usually apply my foundation with a beauty blender. This is really dirty. I need a new one. Um, but anywho. So I'm just going to pump this on my face. Oh, I smell it. it smells like mousse. It smells like, yeah, it smells like mousse. Okay, so so far this is kind of not that bad. It's a little orange, but I think it'll balance out once I blend it in with my concealer. So far it's drying up pretty matte and it's drying pretty fast. It smells like hairspray. First of all, this is definitely very orange, um, which is weird because in stores, like when I put it on my hand, like it didn't look that orange, but it's matte, very, not very matte, but like semi-matte, um, very orange. So, and I had this for a month already and I just now opened it, so I don't think I can return it now. So. It is what it is. Um, for concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Nude. Looks like this. And I heard this concealer is really, really good. I really like the applicator because it makes it easy to like 
spread out the concealer. I didn't even put like a lot of concealer on and it's very, very bright, like super bright. I'm gonna take my concealer brush and just clean up my brows. So now that I put the concealer on, I feel like everything looks put together and really nice. I feel like although I did look a little orange at first when she put the concealer on, everything looks good. Um, I will say when you go in with darker foundations, you're more on the safe side so that way when you take pictures you don't get like really much flashback and you don't look so white. So, so far it looks pretty, pretty good. Now that the concealer is done, I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Blondie. I've been wanting to use this. And I know there's a banana bread, but I was afraid that was going to be too light, but now I feel like this is going to be too dark, so I don't know. Because um, I never use any like color setting powder. Like I always use something that's kind of like white and translucent, so hopefully this comes out good um and i wanted wanted to be trying i wanted to try um more of like a yellow base under eye just to see if my makeup looks different you know makeup is learning process so let's see also the foundation doesn't even smell that like fragrancy like i know it bothers a lot of people but i don't even think it's that serious i don't know that's just me oh i like this so the top is like rubber Looks like that. You just pull it off. Oh, it is kind of yellow though. Let's see. It's a little yellow. And you're supposed to put it in here. So I guess you put it in here like this. Um, I think I'm going to bake. I'm using my beauty blender and I'm going to take some. And people say to wet the beauty blender, but I don't think that will make sense to me because I feel like it will make the powder really moldy and wet. And it's like, why would I do that? And I can just put it on my face, let it sit, and then dust it off and set it with setting spray. That's just me. Okay, first of all, my view blender is soaking up all of the products, which I don't like. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe Y11 brush, which I normally use to set my under eye. I'm just going to take some on the brush, tap it off. I don't even know why I didn't do this in the first place. This was like, like an old lady. <laughs> Was really good though I do feel like this is a little dark I like should have got banana bread I 
I'm not gonna let it sit since it's pretty dark. I'm just gonna dust it off. It smells good though. I like it. I actually like these products a lot. I just wish I got different shades to be honest with you. Because I'm looking pretty yellow, but it's like I like it, but I'm not used to it. Because you know, like you guys see my other videos where like when I put on my foundation it looks a little white at first and then as I go along and I blend everything out everything looks better and I look more tan um, I'm used to that but I just look extra I don't know why I wore a black shirt that loose powder all over Okay, so I don't know how I feel because it's like, it looks like I have foundation on. It looks like I don't have concealer on. So either the foundation's too dark or the powder, the banana bread, not banana bread, the powder that I use is too dark. So it took away from the concealer. Let's go in with some bronzer. I didn't buy any new bronzer, so I'm gonna go in with my Kiko Milano bronzer. Like, you can even tell that I bronze my face. I'm gonna finish up the eyes off camera then I'm gonna be back to finish up the face. I forgot to show you guys the new brushes that I got. So I got um these new brushes from Tarte and they're so cute. Like how much did I get? Three, four, five new brushes. Look at these. They're so cute. I don't know why I didn't use them. I'm about to use it right now. I already put my bronzer on, but I don't care. I'm gonna use this one to contour oh. mm, the brush is soft it's pretty soft I don't know if I like actually no I think this is good for like under here like the jaw yeah this brush is good I wonder how oh, this is nice well, in another video, I use these other brushes because I feel like you could use this brush to contour, you can use this brush to bronze and contour, you could use this to contour. I have a lot of contour brushes. Um, this is for foundation, but I didn't even think to use this. I'll probably use it in a different video. Um, and then this one I think would be like for blush or highlight. I'm using this for highlight, so I'm gonna say that. So I decided to pick this up. I didn't really need it but it was just like you know what let me try it so it's the Too Faced Sugar Peach Face and Eye Palette and when I oh it says wet and dry so I guess that means you can use it wet and dry so actually I'm gonna put some blush on so um hmm I'm going with like a peach shade so this is how the palette looks like it smells like peaches um And I'm going to take Sugar Peach. Oh, oh, this is pigmented. Oh. You know what? We're going to use this. I look really bronzed and like I like it. I think I like it more since my hair is black. Okay. I'm going to wet my brush with my Mac Fix Plus setting spray. And I'm going to use Peach Pearl. I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to use Peach Pearl.
Oh, I like that. Mm. I like it. Wow, I am really liking these products. Like, honestly, guys, when I picked all of these up, it was kind of just like, a, I'm going to get this, this, this. But I really like how my face looks. Like, I'm very into, like, face products. I don't know what it is. Like, I like eye makeup, but I really love, like, face makeup. It's really, really nice. Wow, I'm, I like it. I like it. Mm. No lie, Huda Beauty has some really good products. I think I'm gonna start using their foundations on clients and their um, they like setting powders because this is really nice. Like, wow. Okay. So now for lips, what am I gonna use? So of course I'm gonna go in with a new lip, but first I wanna put on my beanie that I got at Urban because oh yeah just because alright so of course I'm going to go in with a nude lip I'm going to use the where's my lip pencil the NYX suede lip pencil in Downtown Beauty 22 I think I'm going with the gloss. I'm going to use... Oh yeah, this is also um, a new pickup. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in Undress, which I've been dying to use for so long because I have Dainty, but Dainty is too pink. This one's more nude. So... you guys what this makeup though like wow I gotta go out this looks really cute I am so obsessed with this look it's the face makeup that's really really like making me excited because it's like look at how bronze and I look like super bronze nude lip Peachy cheeks, matches with the crease, oh, bars. <laughs> I just, mm. and I'm loving the dark hair vibe right now with the dark eyes. I'm feeling myself OD right now. Excuse the TV in the background, but um, wow, hold up. I gotta pose real quick for this camera because y'all need to see this. this is a completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i really love how it came out like i am very proud of myself because you know i always do the same eye looks same shit and i just love how this came out like it looks very very bronze glowy i love the highlight this is really good the brushes are good. the brushes are bomb and then i love the eye makeup that i did honestly i didn't think i was gonna like it but i think once the face makeup is on everything looks pulled together put together i really like this palette because you know like i've been using the huda beauty 3d highlight palette all the time this is about to be my new thing like look at that and i wet the brush too cute and i also love how this lip gloss looks on me with this look um i feel like it really complements the eye look very well undress is a must have if you're looking for like a really new but like still on the brown side lip gloss undress by anastasia Beverly hills is very good um wow i look bomb 
<laughs> Anywho, give this video a like if you like it. Also, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you'll be alert whenever I do post a new video. It will be the bell button by the subscribe button on my channel. Follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat. I'll leave them up here as always. Now I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.